Hey, right, Tom from Black Hedge Studios, and here is my 1850 points of Grey Knights for a game that I'm just about to play. So, starting over here on the right with the HQ, we have a Librarian, upgrade to Marsh Level 3. And he's also got the Cuirass of Sacrifice, that gives him uh, Feel No Pain and it will not die. And behind him, he is joined by a five-man Terminator squad, so we've got a Demon Hammer in there, a Psy Cannon, and a couple of Swords, a couple of Halberds, and they are riding in a Land Raider Redeemer. Uh, no multi on there, so just the Assault Cannon on top. Uh, to their left we have a heavy choice uh, consisting of a purgation squad with four side cannons in it and the Justicar has a demon hammer and they're riding in a Razorback with the heavy bolter on top, no other upgrades. Then over here we have three squads for troops, uh, all strike squads, so we start with this one here. Basically they're all the same except they've got a demon hammer, this one has a silencer, this one has a side cannon and uh, this one has an incinerator. And then giving them some much needed uh, heavy backup. We have two more heavy choices here, so we've got two Dread Knights, one armed with a sword, well the Great great Demon, oh, sorry, the Nemesis Great Sword, sorry, so I should say, uh, the Inferno Cannon and the Heavy Psy Cannon, so both, sorry, the Heavy Inferno Cannon, and then over here we have one with a Gatling Silencer and the Heavy Psy Cannon, they both have personal teleporters as well, so they've got some fun to shunt across the board and do some jumps around it. So we'll see how they go, and we'll see what Dom's bought for his 1850. Right, this is Dom from Black Toad Studio and today I am bringing 1850 points of chaos. Um, we're using the Traitor's Hate book for the first time which is going to be quite interesting I think considering what, uh, what the rules are in there. So we've got the Black Crusade detachment today which uh, consists here of the Chaos Warband which we'll go through in a moment and the um, Heldrake Terror Pack which are these, those two there and of course we've got a Renegade Knight over here. Right so let's go through my HQ here. I've got a Chaos Lord uh, Mark of Corn on a bike with dual lightning claws and a sigil of corruption. We've got two bike squads of three here. This squad over on the right, we've got a lightning claw and a champion and a melter gun. Over on this one, we have a melter gun and a power fist. All right, so going back then for the rest of the warband, we've got five um, possessed, a Mark of Corn there. We've got six Bolter Marines. We've got a Plasma and a Plasma Pistol in there as well. We've got five Combat Marines with a Melter Gun. Um, they've also got Combat Weapons and Bolt Pistols, so they're pretty multitask. And they're in the Rhino of the Havoc. We've got the same there in the Rhino of the Havoc. We've got a Hell Brute with a Plasma Cannon. And we've got another uh, squad over here of seven with two with a Melter Gun, uh, sorry, Melter Gun, a Plasma Gun and a Plasma Pistol. So that's the Chaos Warband. Here we have the Renegade Knights. We have got the um, f uh, the Gauntlet there, and we've got the Destroyer Weapon there, and a the Melter Gun built in there. And finally, we have got two Hell Drakes in the other formation. So the rules are pretty nice. It's the first time using them, so excuse me if I make mistakes, but pretty much. The idea is every turn we pick a Chaos Champion in the Chaos Warband here or throughout in the detachment, so mainly it's just going to be in the Warband. We roll twice on the Boon of Chaos and we apply one or both to that model for the uh, remaining of the game. So because we're rolling twice, it's because of the Chaos Warband formation, so they've got favoured signs of Chaos I believe it is. And these guys over here, the Hell Drakes. They are doing a lot more vector strike damage to things that have failed morale checks and falling back or are pinned or have gone to ground, so that's pretty nice. Also it affects models' leaderships if they're within a certain distance of a particular amount of hail drakes. But that is it, that was a very brief over overview of it. So let's have a look to have a look at the battlefield and the mission. Right, so here we are, we have the battlefield laid out on this Admech planet. Forces of Chaos are facing off against their greatest nemesis, the Grey Knights. Grey Knights are deployed over this side of the battlefield, amongst some old fortifications, preparing themselves to fight the ruinous powers. We are doing Spoils of War as the mission, and it's Dawn of War deployment. We've got the Chaos Forces over here, getting ready to mount their assault. Everything for the Grey Knights is on the board, they're all mounted in their transports. Prepare themselves to engage the Chaos. The Chaos forces are all on the board except for the Hell Drakes which are swooping above the battlefield currently. Right, so at the moment the Grey Knights have got the initiative. They are ready to strike unless of course 
the chaos can seize. Unfortunately not. So let's move on to turn one for the great odds. Okay, so my librarian decided to pick from a slightly different uh, power. So we went with Pyromancy and we dropped, got Flame Breath, which is Primaris, because we picked everything from there. Spontaneous Combustion, Sunburst, and Inferno. Turn one for the Grey Knights, and the orders are coming in. The Grey Knights have been ordered to seize objective number five, which is in the ruins currently. They've also been ordered to slay the enemy, so they've got no prisoners, and also to break the enemy, psychological warfare. So let's have a look to see if the Grey Knights are going to be able to achieve any of these. Turn one movement for the Grey Knights, and this squad's purifiers have charged up here. They've dismounted, they're holding the ruins here. Objective 5 is currently secure. Over here, this rhino is also pushing up towards the middle here. It's going to be a st an area where they can stand and hold off the enemy, hopefully. Over here, this Dread Knight has shunted forwards. He is facing off against the Chaos, which are amassing past the barricades there. Over here, this rhino is also pushing up, hopefully to give some flank defence there for the Dread Knight, moving across the battlefield. This Lamb Raider has pushed backwards slightly, just to get out of range of the imposing Renegade Knight, which looms over the battlefield. Over here, this Rhino is just giving it a bit of protection at the moment. I'm sure the Grey Knights on board are going to put some fire down onto the Renegade Knight. And finally, over here on the wing, the other Dread Knight has shunted forwards and is now eyeing up the Chaos Space Marines, which are holding the landing pad and also the hell brute so let's move on to turn one psychic and shooting to see what the imperial forces are going to do turn one psychic and shooting for grey knights and over here this dread knight here he cast himself sanctuary to protect himself from the incoming attacks he also fired both his weapons up here king off only one of the chaos space marines unfortunately for him. Over here, this squad here fired in with a Gatler. Shots bouncing off the shield, unable to do anything. This squad over here as well, they fired in across the ruins, also hitting, glancing, but the shields protected it and was unable to do anything. Moving along, this Dread Knight here, he got a force in his turn and he fired shots. He fired lots of shots over towards the bikes, the Lord's retinue, and he was only able to kill one bike. So it was not successful for the Grenards on their first push. Let's have a look to see what they have achieved, if anything, in turn one. Right, so at the end of turn one for the Grey Knights, they have been able to secure objective five. Um, they unfortunately have not wiped anything out and they haven't caused anyone to break or to pin. So currently they're one up on the chaos, but they are looking to keep these and achieve them in the next turn. So as the chaos forces surge forwards, they are ordered to kill the witch. Plenty of witches to pick from. Secure objective two, so head and control the tower. And objective six, take down the space breed statue. Mm. So let's have a look to see what the Chaos Forces have done in their movement phase. Right, so in turn one for the movement of Chaos Forces, the squad here, the Hell Brute, has pushed up along here. He's going to push some plasma shots down there. This squad have lined up along the defence line there and also are going to fire down. Over here, the Renegade Knight has gone roaring forwards towards the Rhino there, firing out shots. Over here, the Chaos Lord, his bike squad, followed closely by the Possessed, are charging forwards through the ruins towards the squad here. It's going to get bloody very quickly. Over here, this Rhino pushed up, span round, Chaos Marines poured out, ready to lay shots down onto this thing. Followed here by the bikes. Currently the Rhino is holding Objective 2 there for the Chaos Forces. Over here though, Chaos heard the call. And the champion from the Bolter Squad burst into a Demon Prince, ready to charge towards the Grey Knights there. 
and this squad here came out of the Rhino as well and they're also going to put some shots in here there's a lot of Boltifier, some Plasma Fire and Melty Fire all ready to pour into this Dreadnought to see what can happen so let's move on to turn one Psychic and Shooting Turn one, psychic and shooting for chaos. And over here, the squad and the hellbrute fired down onto the dread knight there, causing one wound. So the dread knight still pretty effective. Over here, the knight fired its melter gun down into the rhino there, hit, unable to penetrate. There, the possessed charge forwards. They're now on the other side of the ruins, facing down across at those grey knights there. Finally, over here. Everything fired. Rhinos, both well, three squads of marines and the bikes fired into the Dreadnought. Unfortunately, it only caused one wound. The Demon Prince ran forwards and um, leaving it quite strong, so with three wounds remaining. Right, we're going to move on to turn one assault for Chaos, see if we can get some blood flowing. Turn one assault for the Chaos Forces. And over here, the bikes charged in. The champion issued a challenge against the Dread Knight. And of course, the Dread Knight struck him down, leaving just the one remaining bike there. So, he's held his ground, locking in the Dread Knight for a turn, which is not too bad. Over here, Chaos Bikes went to charge in. Overwatch killing off one of the bikers and unfortunately the bikes were unable to make their charge through the terrain there so they're sitting pretty safely there and finally over here another failed charge the knight was going to charge in overwatch fire came from the top of the rhino bouncing off the shields but that's all that happened so let's have a look to see what the chaos forces have achieved in their turn one Right, turn one for the Chaos, and we have achieved secure objective two with the Rhino still sitting there. We cannot discard objective six. The Grey Knights are going to claim that for their own in turn two. And of course, we are not going to discard Witch Hunter. So let's move on to turn two for the Grey Knights. Turn two for the Grey Knights, and they still have psychological warfare. They still have no prisoners, but they've also got a secure objective four. So let's have a look to see what they've done in their movement turn. Turn two movement for the Grey Knights and back here. All three of these rhinos are just oh, pulled back and holding the line here. Waiting to see how the rest of the battle plays out. Over here, the squad here, lining up shots against a Chaos Lord that's sitting there at the moment. Getting ready to purge him. Over here, this land raider has pushed up towards the ruins, lining up its flamer and assault cannon at the possessed that are pouring through the buildings. Although it has discarded its Terminator load, which are here, and they are lining up to charge in against the Renegade Knights. But of course, they are not unsupported, and at the back there, the Dread Knight is ready as well, so this could get very messy. Over here, this squad of Grey Knights has reversed slightly, holding Objective 4, making sure it is secure for the Grey Knight cause. And finally, of course, the Knight is still locked in combat. One eye on the opponent and the other looking across at the Chaos Forces charging towards him. So let's move on to turn 2, Psychic and Shooting. Turn two, psychic and shooting for the Grey Knights. And over here, this Grey Knight was able to get a sanctuary on himself here. Firepower came in from these Rhinos and Razorbacks, firing down here and into the Demon Prince. The Storm Bolters from over there caused one wound on the Demon Prince there. The firepower from over there did nothing to these Chaos Marines. Over here, the assault cannon fired in. These guys all fired in and wiped out the, the warlord and the remaining champion there. So the Grey Knights have got first blood and they have slayed the warlord. Over here, this Dread Knight got off Sanctuary, fired all its shots into the knights, unable to do anything. It was then joined by the squad down here and 
the Grey Knights mounted on board there firing in and also one were unable to do anything although the squad did get off hammer hand in their turn so they are possibly able to do some damage to knight in assault so moving on now to turn to assault for the grey knights turn to assault for the grey knights and this dread knight charged in taking out three hull points from the knight the knight was really unable to do anything did some damage but the knight's four plus save came into effect and protected it. These terminators failed their charge in, so we weren't able to assist the dread knight in combat. And finally, over here, the dread knight slayed the last biker and has now fallen back and is now hiding in the ruins there, preparing for another attack, perhaps. So let's have a look to see what the imperial forces have done in their turn two. End of turn two for the Grey Knight forces, and they have secured objective four. They have slain several units, but not unfortunately not three. So they've got two points there. And they have also got first blood, and they have got slay the warlord, and they have captured objective six on the chaos. So that has put them rocketing ahead. They are now, I believe, on six six one to the Grey Knights. So moving on to turn two now for the chaos, and let's see what they can do. Turn two for the Chaos Forces, and we have got Secure Objective one, Secure Objective six, and of course we've still got Witch Hunter there. So let's have a look to see what the Chaos Forces have done. Turn two, movement for Chaos, and this Hell Drake from the formation has flown on there. He's come across, he has Vec to strike the um, Dread Knight, but unable to wound him. Over here, this Demon Prince is still pushing up, he's pushing up towards that Dread Knight there. Over here, this Rhino is coming around for a flanking move and possibly put some shots in as well. Over here, these two squads are taking cover behind the defence line. This squad with the Melter Gun are pushing up towards the Grey Knight tank there, hoping to pop it with a Melter shot. Over here, this Rhino is just pushing up as well, maybe to put some fire in over there. So, the Chaos Forces looked fondly upon the chosen, cha uh, the possessed champion there and have rewarded it with Fleet. Feel no pain and re-rolling armor saves because they've got Dark Porphys on there, so very nice. But so he's joined by the Possessed and charging into this Grey Knight squad there. Finally, over here, the squad have moved round. They are holding the landing pad with the Hellbrook and they're going to put some Bolter and Plasma shots down towards the Grey Knights there and cause them some serious pain. So we're going to move on to turn two, Psychic and Shooting for Chaos, and see if they can do some damage to these Grey Knights. Turn two, Psychic and Shooting for the Chaos Forces. So over here, the Hellbrute, joined by the Wordbearer Marines, fired down into the Terminators and did a lot of damage. The Plasma Cannon hit and killed off. Two of the Terminators, I believe, they also lost one to the bolt gun and plasma guns, and they are fleeing. They are broken, they are retreating. So giving the Chaos Knight a bit more of a chance in combat against that thing. Moving along the battlefield. This Melter Gun popped around the corner, took a sneaky shot there, and did a hull point shaking the guys in the Rhino. It was also joined by the Bale Flamer, from the Hell Drake who flamed these two, causing it some damage onto both of those. Bolter and Melter shots poured into this terrain here and uh, was unable to do anything. The plasma shot as well towards the uh, Rhino, unable to do anything. And that was really about it. We're gonna move on to Assault now to see if we can cause some more death and destruction. Turn to Assault for the Chaos Forces and over here the Chaos Knight was able to destroy the Dread Knight in combat is now moving around here facing off against what foes remain. Over here the Possessed charged in they lost one of their number as they charged in but because of the uh, mutation they got an extra plus one attack and plus one initiative and ripped apart the Grey Knights leaving only the champion fighting the sergeant in a duel there. And finally, the only other assault was over here. The Demon Prince charged through the terrain there. 
into the waiting Dread Knight. But lucky enough for the Dread Knight and lucky enough for the Demon Prince, they both were unable to do anything to one another. So the fight continues over here. It's been pretty messy. It's only going to get worse. So let's have a look to see what the Chaos Forces have done at the end of their turn two. Right, at the end of turn two for Chaos, we have killed off one of the psychos, we've got Witch Hunter there. We're sitting on objective one quite happily with the Chaos Marines, but unfortunately we are unable to secure objective six. So the score at the moment is six three to the Imperial forces. So let's move on to turn three for Grey Knights and see what they can do. Turn three for the Grey Knights and they have drawn Harness the Warp, they need to Cast a psychic power, I'm pretty sure they'll be okay. Blood and guts, destroy something in the assault phase and secure objective three. So which is the landing pad currently held by the chaos. So let's have a look at the movement phase and see what they've done. So, turn three movement. And this Rhino is holding still here, lining up shots against the Chaos Marines that are currently in the ruins over there. These two, unable to move this turn, they are just going to be snap shooting. Oh, there these guys pass their pinning check and they are able to shoot at full capacity at the Chaos Forces down there. Over here, the Land Raider has swiveled round. It's got one hull point less left, this Renegade Knight. It is a threat. It needs to be dealt with before it charges in. The Librarian and his squad have rallied and they are coming back into the fight. And this one over here. He's still holding there, he's holding onto the corner, he's holding onto the objective and he's going to put some fire down still. So let's have a look to see what the Grey Knight forces can do in their turn 3 shooting and psychic. Turn 3, psychic and shooting for the Grey Knights and over here the snap firing uh, Rhino and the guys on board who could fire normally fired in here as well as that Rhino over there. They took out two of the Chaos Marines. The Chaos Marines are holding the line though and they are fine still. But the main event for the Grey Knight forces, the Renegade Knight has fallen. It took assault cannon shots, didn't do anything. But over here, the squad mounted on in this Rhino fired in and they took out the last hull point, sending it crashing Yay! to the ground. <laughs> Cheers come up from the Terminators. <laughs> but the night is no more, so quite a big hit, unfortunately, for the chaos. We're going to move on now to Assault to see if they can carry on this role. Turn 3 Assault for the Grey Knights, and this Dread Knight hammered the Demon Prince, getting it on the ground and then doing a finishing blow and killing him off. Falling back a couple of inches, getting ready for the next wave of chaos attacks. Elsewhere, the duel in the center continues, both opponents unable to finish the other off, and the possessed stand round, cheering insults, cheering praises. <laughs> the Dark God will be a triumphant. So that is the end of turn Free assault for the Grey Knights. We're going to move on to see what happened at the end of turn three. So the end of turn three for the Grey Knights, and they have got blood and guts, and they have also got harness to warp. So they are now on eight. So it's eight three to Grey Knights. Let's see what Chaos could do in their turn three. Turn three for the Chaos Forces, and the Chaos Forces have been told to seize Objective 2. They've got to issue a challenge. They've got to recon all the positions on the battlefield. Although, we did forget, the Grey Knights did capture Objective 6 during their turn. So the score is now, well, it's currently standing at 9-3 to the Grey Knights. Quite a lead. So let's have a look to see what the Chaos Forces have done in their movement phase. So, turn three movement, and this Hell Drake has flown on. Joined this Hell Drake, they are going to be incinerating this Terminator squad here, putting a lot of fire in. Also, a supporting fire from the Hell Brute back there with its plasma cannon. It's hopefully going to be nasty for the Grey Knight forces there. As this Hell Drake flew over, he did vector strike this Rhino, causing it to 
destroy itself, is wrecked. The Grey Knights have now disembarked there, very close to that squad of Marines there. Both squads of Marines over there have come up close. They are going to be putting a lot of rapid fire shots into this Dreadnought to hopefully finish it off with supporting fire from that Rhino over there and that Rhino there. But we will see. We're going to move on to Psychic and Shooting for Chaos and see what they can do. Turn 3, Psychic and Shooting for the Chaos Forces. And this Helldrake flew over with this one here and both flame the terminators leaving just the terminator and the librarian which were then fired upon by the hellbrute hellbrute killing another terminator the librarian unfortunately broke his morale was not strong enough and he fled off the battlefield combined with the helldrake formation it was a terrible role and he is gone elsewhere on the battlefield this squad here, well both squads here, fired bolt guns, fired plasma guns, fired melter guns in and took another wound off the Dread Knight, leaving it on one. It was also joined by the Havoc Launcher there and the Combi Bolter and the Havoc Launcher over there and a Snap Firing Combi Bolter and yep, yeah, leaving him on one. He is still there, he's still brave. He's currently probably standing on top of a dead Demon Prince. So we're going to move on to Assault, see if these two brave Chaos Marines will charge into these two, this squad of Grey Knights, for the glory of Chaos, and to see if this possessed squad can finish off the one Grey Knight. Turn free assault for Chaos, and the champion of the possessed slayed the Grey Knight in his duel. The Chaos Gods rewarded him by giving him an icy aura and shred as well. This, possess this possessed champion is blessed by the gods. Elsewhere over here, the Chaos Marine with his comrade charged in. His comrade was cut down by bolt of fire. He made it in, the champion, champion issued a challenge and the Grey Knight obviously accepted. Unfortunately, they were both unable to do anything in combat, but that is not the point. The challenge has been issued and accepted. So let's see what the Chaos Forces have done at the end of their turn three. Right, so at the end of turn three for Chaos, they have got Secure Objective 2. They have issued a challenge and they we have got Recon. We have also secured Objective 3 from the Grey Knights and we have got ourselves uh, Warlord Kill. So the score is now 9-8 to Grey Knights, but Chaos are catching up. So let's move on to turn four for Grey Knights to see what they can do. Turn four for the Grey Knights and they've been ordered to secure objective four twice. Very important at the time of the battle and get behind enemy lines. Strike the enemy from behind. So let's have a look to see what the Grey Knights have done in their turn four movement. Turn 4 movement for the Grey Knights and this Rhino is still sitting on objective 4 there. Very lucky for the Grey Knights, they've been ordered to hold that position. The men are still embarked, they are too worried about the Helldrakes flying around. This Slam Raider here is pushing up through the building and he's going to set some flames down upon these possessed, these demon scum. Moving along, this squad still engaged in combat. Who will fall next? We will find out. Over here, this Dread Knight has pushed up through the building, had enough of being fired by high explosive rounds, and he's going to engage the squad, well, two squads over there. This Rhino here is pushed up through the terrain towards that Rhino, also going to probably be laying down some shots there towards the Chaos Marines that are currently behind that defence line. So let's move on to turn four, Psychic and Shooting for the Grey Knights to see what they can do. Turn four, psychic and shooting for the Grey Knights, and what a phase. The two flamers from here, one using its normal ability, one using Paranormal Machine Spirit came in and incinerated three of the possessed, leaving just the champion. The champion of this conflict is still standing. He was also fired upon by the heavy bolter from over here, unable to do anything. Over here, the Dread Knight fired both its weapons in. The main cannon 
actually bounced back and hit the Dreadnought itself, ricocheting off the defence line. The uh, Punisher cannon, cannon as well fired in and killed off two of the uh, squad. Over here, snap firing shots came in, killing two of the back squad there. Both squads are still holding their ground, ready to strike hatred and vengeance back upon the Grey Knights. So that is it for shooting and psychic in turn four for the Grey Knights. We're going to move on now to assault to see what the Warriors of Titan can do. End of turn for Assault for the Grey Knights. And the challenge continues over here. The Chaos Champion dodging the hammer shots as they come in. Unable to fight back as well. The duel continues, but the main event was over here when the Dread Knight was charging in. Bolt gun shells hit it. Unable to do anything, but the one melter gun he hit and he pierced through the Dread Knight, sending it crashing to the ground. Has the battle turned in favour of the Chaos? We will find out. So let's have a look to see what the Grey Knights have done in their turn four. So at the end of turn four for the Grey Knights, they have secured objective four twice. They've decided to discard the order behind enemy lines. So they are now on 11 to the Chaos 8. Very close. Moving on to turn four now for the Chaos Forces to see what they can do. Chaos, turn four. And the Chaos Forces have been told to secure objective five. They have to slay the enemy, no prisoners, and they have to hold the line at the same time. Very interesting orders. Let's move on to the movement and see what the Chaos Forces have done in their turn four. Turn four movement for the Chaos and this Helldrake Heldrake flew over. He has Victor struck that one and he's on one glancing hit. Over here, Chaos Force is still holding the defence line there on the landing pad. The Hellbrew has fallen back slightly to get uh, hold the line and lining up a shot over on that Razorback over there. That Razorback though, it did suffer a hit. It was stunned as the other Heldrake flew over. Vector striking that one as well. These Helldrakes are a menace for the Grey Knights. Even if they're hiding in their transports, they are still being hit and struck by the menace. Over here, this Rhino reversed slightly to help with its order to hold the line. And that one is currently still holding the line there. So, very interesting. Let's move on to Psychic and Shooting for the Chaos Forces to see if they can strike down these Warriors of the Imperial. Turn 4, Psychic and Shooting for the Chaos Forces. And what happened? Well, this Hellbrute here fired his Plasma Cannon through over here. And he, uh, his Plasma Shot scattered off, unable to do anything. Over here though, the front squad here fired his Melter Gun into the Rhino that was there. It exploded, um, killing one in the explosion. The squad behind the Chaos Marines then opened up on the Grey Knights, killing off another two. And then the Havoc Launcher and the Combi Bolter here fired in, killing off another one and leaving only one Grey Knight standing. This guy's passed his morale check. He is ready to charge in and avenge his fallen brothers. But for now, we're going to move on to Assault to see if the duel over by the statue of the Space Marine continues. Moving on to Assault. Turn four. Turn four assault for the Chaos Forces. And over here, the challenge, the Chaos Champion hit against the champion of the Grey Knights. He hit three times, he wounded, and as the Grey Knight buckled back, the champion cheered. But unfortunately, the Grey Knight came in with the hammer and destroyed what remained of the Chaos Champion. The squad then consolidated over here towards this Razorback the some form of shelter from the Chaos Forces. So let's have a look to see what the Chaos Forces have done in their turn four. Right, so at the end of turn four for Chaos, we've got hold the line. They've got no prisoners 
and they've got secure objective 5 so the score is now 11-11 it is a draw we're going on now to the final turn who will win this conflict the forces of chaos or the followers of the imperium turn 5 for the grey knights and they've got orders their orders are to seize objective 6 try and secure objective 2 there and destroy something overwhelming firepower so some very achievable objectives there let's see what the grey knights have done in their turn 5 movement turn 5 movement for the grey knights and the land raiders now squaring up to shoot into the possessed champion there this deadly firepower over here the Razorback tried to run in and support the Grey Knights and immobilise itself, stripping the last hull point and wrecking himself there. This squad is still sitting quite happily on objective 6. They're going to try and fire up into the Hell Drake to get rid of that menace. So let's move on to Psychic and Shooting, turn 5. Turn 5 Psychic and Shooting for the Grey Knights and over here this squad aboard the Rhino fired off shots into the Helldrake causing one hull point luckily the Helldrake shook it off over here the Lamb Raider fired every weapon both Flamers and the Assault Cannon into the Possessed Champion but the gods don't want him to die and he passed all his saves Demon save and Power save it was pretty incredible, he still stands. And over here, this squad tried to cast banishment upon the Helldrake up here, but they periled and one got dragged into the warp, leaving these guys to snap fire up towards the Helldrake and unfortunately do nothing. The only other firepower was down here. Two Storm Bolter shots came crashing into the Chaos Marines, but they were unable to wound. So we're going to move on now to turn 5 assault for the Grey Knights and see what they can do. Right, there was no assaulting for the Grey Knights in turn 5. So at the end of turn 5, the only thing they were able to achieve was to secure objective 6 with that with their squad. Unable to secure objective 2 and of course unable to shoot anything down in the with the firepower. So that puts Grey Knights on 12 to the Chaos 11. Let's move on to Chaos Turn 5. Turn 5 for Chaos, and we have got behind enemy lines secure objective 3 and secure objective 5 there. So, can the Chaos forces do it in the last moments of this battle? Let's have a look. So turn 5 movement for the Chaos Forces and this Helldrake here, he's gone into hover mode behind the Rhino. He's going for behind enemy lines and he is going to burn, incinerate this Rhino. Moving across. This Rhino here is pushing forwards, he's heading towards the Grey Knights, he's going to try and finish them off. This squad here, holding their ground, we're going to try and kill off this Grey Knight there. He's standing alone against the forces of chaos. And this Rhino here, he's also pushing up to put down some firepower on the frets. Finally, this Helldrake here, he's turned round, he is now in hover mode and he is going to incinerate what remains of the Grey Knight forces holding Objective 6. So, what can they do? Let's find out in Turn 5 sh Psychic and Shooting. Turn 5 for shooting for Chaos. And this Helldrake fired into this Grey Knight squad here, killing all but one. It was also joined by the Bolter squads from over there. Both Rhinos fired shots into this Grey Knight, as well as the squad in front of it. Grey Knight is still standing there, still standing strong. Over here, this Helldrake fired its flames into the rhino there, unable to do anything. But was that enough? Let's see what Chaos have done at the end of their turn five. 
Okay, so at the end of turn five for Chaos, and at the end of the battle, the Chaos forces have been able to secure objective three. They have been able to hold and secure objective five, and the Helldregs have given them behind enemy lines. So, at the end, the Chaos forces are victorious with a score of 15, 12, Chaos victorious over the Grey Knights. So, Tom, have you got a man of the match? Hmm, not really. Land Raider is alive and did a few things, so, and it finished off the, obviously the Walker, so, yep. sorry, the uh, Knight. The Knight. Um, but Dread Knights did fairly well, just uh, slightly disappointed in some of the standard units that didn't uh, quite uh, all their weights, I think, would be the best way to put it. But no, no, it was it was a good game. I think it could have gone either way, so can't complain too much. Yeah, for myself, I'm going to go with the possessed. Yeah. Normally, never featured <laughs> as um, uh, model of the match, but with the uh, Black Crusade detachment rules, this guy finished the game with special rules such as fleet, feel no pain, reroll armor saves, shred, crusader, icy aura. It's what didn't he have is more the question. No, exactly. <laughs> so, first first time playing Traitor's Hate uh, Detachment, and I really enjoyed it. Lots of fun rolling on the boons of Chaos, hoping for a second Demon Prince to pop up. One Demon Prince on the first turn was pretty good, but a second one would definitely be a game changer, even more so. So, this is Dom and Tom from Plateau Studios. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you haven't already, give us a subscribe, give us a like, comment below if you enjoyed this, and we will see you next see time. You next time.